Alright, let's do a quick uh, camera tutorial. So, I've got some questions asked. What am I uh, shooting? How am I getting the angle? How am I keeping the camera steady? So, I'm not all that high tech. This uh, mount up here is what's called a go grip, and it's not gripping too well. It's got a sticky pad that actually sticks to the back of your device. You suction cup it to your windshield above the driver line of sight, like preferably around the rear view. You can mount it back on the back window, side window. You know, you can get these for about ten, twelve dollars, and as seen on TV aisles in any store. Um, but serves the purpose. I added a little bit of an extra Velcro strap because I have seen the grip fail on me. I've had the suction cup come off on me. What do you get for ten bucks? You know. Ideally, um, something that's dash mount, like an actual, uh, you know, dash cam, you know, run about a hundred bucks or less. You know, again, quality, uh, resolution, high depth. I mean, you can put something on your dash that reads a license plate a uh, hundred yards out. I mean, hell, yeah, yeah, that's the importance, you know. So, typically, I like to shoot using the tripod. That's not a GoPro, that's a Vivitar. A um, little bit better resolution. Sucks on sound. So, my tripod is definitely something meant for the trash. One of the arms broke off. I had a jury rig it. But it's pretty secure. It's not going anywhere. It has all the features of a regular tripod, obviously. So you can pivot, pitch, you can turn the arm, you can bank it up or down, sideways. Um, what I am working on, as you mentioned, I'm going to have a mount for a camera just below the dome light. Ideally, though, I need it to come low enough to see past the rear view mirror. Um, so, this one I can pivot front to back. I can get cars behind me, in front of me. Ideally, I want to be able to see my tack. I want to see where I screw up. Uh, these also aid for when that driver blows a red light in the cross traffic in front of you and you end up plowing them, you know, your insurance company is going to kiss you for having that documented. Similar, um, you know, the resolution. Now, something like this, this is a cheap MP3 player, and it really is, uh, it's actually broken anymore. But I did use this for a good while, shot a lot of footage, it was very grainy, but you get the gist of it. Um, but something like this, where I actually lowered the resolution because the upload takes forever to get it to YouTube, but again, it can see pretty far out, read license plates, you know, good junk. So, what I'm shooting right now with is actually a pay-as-you-go cheapy phone. Yes, it's a pink phone, it was for my daughter. But this shoots in good low light, um, shoots stills, I've used it pretty much when the other cameras have run out of battery and I didn't have a chance to recharge them. Uh, you know, it does take a lot uh, of getting used to. As long as you have a computer that can interface or you can upload these somehow to the net, I mean the web, whatever you want to call it, it'll get you your information you need to get, you know. Again, shooting video, keep in mind, I set the camera in place before I even start the car. Um, so once it sets, it sets. I don't readjust, I don't turn it. Um, like I said, I've had the camera mount fall most of the time, I just let it go. You know, I'm not worried about what the camera is seeing, I'm not worried about the camera's work, and I find out after the fact if the camera caught anything. And if it didn't, it didn't. Name job one. When you're driving, this is important. That's the most important, what you see out front there. If you're paying attention to your camera, your phone, whatever, you're doing it all wrong. And that's about it. Again, there's my mounts, that's my future mount, and that's the cheapy mount.